why adults are trying to you know come to the reality of what is you know going on and you know maybe make our lives continue the way it is there is this group of people that you know i feel that and i know should not be let left in the dark i'm talking about our children if you are a parent a guardian or maybe you have a a, a, a relative that has children then you should know that children have been out of school for way too long guys you're welcome to another beautiful day with me my name is Obinje O your one and only relationship enthusiast and if you just see me for the first time I want to you know welcome you to this beautiful family and I want you to know that a special seat has been reserved for you and I am so glad that you have occupied that chair and you know as you've occupied that chair I don't want you to, for any reason to you know make it vacant so while you are at that please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on your post notification so that you know what happens every time i get to drop another video you get that notification and to my returning subscribers i'm nothing without you people you people give me the you know the vibe to continue you know uploading videos every now and then and i am eternally grateful to you in ghana where i reside here Children have been out of school for, I think, five months now, if I'm not mistaken. Five months. Children have been out of school for five months. I remember the day that I got the news that children would not be going to school anymore. That was March 16th. And, and as I'm talking now, it's August 20. You know the funny part of this thing? When kids got that news that they were not going to be going to school for a period of time, we were all happy. I said we were all happy. That includes me because I know how it is that every morning I have to wake up and prepare my daughters to go to school. It's not funny. And sometimes I used to, you know, ask for a replacement body. <laughs> Somebody that would just be doing all of that for me. But honestly, I do love it. I feel that's the way I get to bond with them, preparing them to go to school. Even though sometimes it can be, you know, stressful. It can be so out of this world. But like I said... It's a, it's a time that this is it. And after some time, you're never going to have it. So when we got that news that children would be out of school for some time, we were happy because we just felt holiday came way too quick. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you're a parent out there, I know you can relate with me with this, you know, unceremonious holiday that we got, you know, way before it was scheduled to take place. We were happy, I was happy, and I felt that <sighs> highest, maybe three weeks to one month, and <clears throat> we'd be back to school. By then, our bodies would have, you know, rested, we would have gotten ourselves back into our A game, and we will be ready to continue with the academic theme. <laughs> Let me sit down. Little did we know that <laughs> this thing was going to take us on a whirlwind. It did, it did not only just take us on a whirlwind, it took us on a, <laughs> a, a roller coaster ride. And this is where it has, you know, landed us. Five months, we do not even know if school is going to, you know, resume or reopen this year again. And as you know, we are about four months to the end of the year. In, 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 in less than some few months from now, we're going to be celebrating a new year. And you know what is not even so palatable to the ear is the fact that the academic session for when kids were, were, were in school has come to an end. And if your children were out of school as at the time when my children were out of school or when schools, should I use the word out of school or when schools were told to close? I think that's better. When schools were told to shut down, you know, that was more like um, the second term. And they went on this long compulsory vacation, which we are in now. So the second term went. They didn't even get to write exams. I don't know if your kids, wherever they are, they got to write exams. But here in Ghana, kids, majority of the schools, I would say, did not get to write their uh, term exam. And we were just watching and looking at how things were going, hoping that, okay, 
Yes, week they will call off this thing now. Huh? But you see the funny part of the thing, it didn't, it wasn't going as we planned. Rather, the cases were getting, you know, out and out and out of hand and Tetem came like joke, like joke, Tetem came. On the hour very before Tetem came, ended. <laughs> the kids are still at home. Have we been able to make our children understand what is going on and not just only make them understand what is going on because there's a difference between making somebody understand what is going on and adding some kind of fear into it and making them understand what is going on and letting them know that everything is going to be under control but aside from all of that okay so let's assume that every parent has been able to you know make their kids understand what is going on and you know been able to you know put their fears on hold the next thing that is begging for your attention is that how have you been able to get your children into the school routine because you see whatever is going on now definitely has an end i'm this kind of person that i try as much as possible to tell myself that everything that has a beginning surely has an end no matter how long it goes it definitely will have an end so whatever it is we are going through now although it's some kind of scary thing out there but whatever it is a time is going to come when we're going to get control vibe. I said we're going to get control vibe. Like, see, I'm one of those people that are, you know, even working in the in the field to get some kind of, you know, treatment or all of that. But like I said, it's going to come come under, under, under control and life would return back to the way it used to be. So that's the part I'm talking about. How have you been, uh, been able to, you know, get your kids on track so that, if and when life returns to you know the way we uh, we used to know it your kids will be able to fit back into the system why am i saying it you see you cannot you uh use the the yardstick you use to judge yourself and judge children your 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 level of experience to life happenings it's not the level of experience that children have. Children cannot tolerate and children cannot assimilate and children cannot compound like we adults. You get what I'm saying? So while you, you are able to, you know, fit back into the system or into your daily routine without the supervision of anybody, kids cannot operate that way. <laughs> Kid, and that is why they are kids. They need the supervision of an adult. They need somebody who is going to, you know, be leading them telling them this is what they need to do at every point in time and that is where you as a parent should come into play so have you been able to you know get your children into that track or that routine so that when school resumes they would be able to fit in back into the system the way it was there's not going to be any you know gap or any pitfalls and even if there are some kind of you know kind of lack or setbacks it will be something that in no time they would catch up it's not easy in these very trying and difficult times i must tell you there are days i just sit down and i'm like what is going on and i cry in my little corner but <laughs> i know that everything is going to work out right and we are all going to smile at the end of the day and our kids are going to return to school and everything will be back to normal. This new normal that we are experiencing now, that we are all living through, is only, it's only going to be for a time because everything has a time and definitely this time is surely going to come to an end. I know I'm rambling, so I'm just going to end this video here and I'm going to thank each and every one of you that, you know, watched with me to this level. I just want to thank you and... If you did like today's video, I want to urge you to please give this video a thumbs up. And if you know you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and do turn on your post notification. And I hope that I get to see you again in my next upload. It's bye. <laughs>